Assassin's Creed Shadows is being completely buried online by people that are tired of the catering and pandering to D-E-N-I. Let's get the elephant out of the room. They made a mistake choosing to go with Yasuke as the main protagonist. Yes, the first black samurai, as they're referring to him, who survives a pirate raid from a slave ship. And he gets taught the ways of the samurai. Yeah, it sounds cool on paper, but let's be honest. The only reason why they're using this character is because it's a black character. And video game companies, movie studios, you name it, they're all catering to this wokeness. They all want... POCs and anything but historically accurate stuff. They're revisionist historians, guys. They like to rewrite plots and make things up as they go in order to cater to the politically correct people that are out there that are flooding the video game industry. This game is getting completely run through the mud on social media at this point, and it's to be expected. It seems like on top of Star Wars Outlaws and other issues, Ubisoft has just been making weird DE&I decision after weird DE&I decision, and this looks like it's going to continue that path. The trailer was unveiled today, and yeah, I, I like Assassin's Creed games for the most part, but... Let's be honest here, that franchise has kind of been simmering down just quite a little bit. Instead of focusing on video games, it seems like companies are just focusing on catering to diversity and inclusion at this point. They want political messages. They want political commentary. They don't want good gameplay. They don't want characters based on actual good character traits. They want to check boxes. They want to be like, okay, there's an African-American. Check. There's a LGBTQ guy. Check. There's an ugly female. Check. Instead of actually making a good Assassin's Creed game, they play it safe. They go the route that they know that people are going to not be offended by. Now, as far as Japanese history goes, there's so many other historical figures they could have used from ancient Japan, but they went with Yasuke. And he's really not ever covered in Western media. When you talk about Japan, it really doesn't matter. I guess they don't. Uh, to me, it just seems like he's a character that gets a little bit embellished. And I guess that's what they have to do in order to make a video game sell itself. They had to make his story sound cool, right? Survives a pirate raid on a slave ship. Learns the way of the samurai and becomes the first black samurai. Now, people are contesting that this is not historically accurate. In fact, there was actually a really good video on Twitter that was trending that I'm going to show you guys real quick. Let's go ahead and check it out. Roll it. So there's this gentleman right here, Khalil Too Short, who tweeted out Assassin's Creed being based in Japan and then not using a Japanese male protagonist is stupid. We know exactly why they're using Yasuke, the message, and it's annoying. It would be as dumb as having it based in Africa and deciding to use a white male protagonist. So let's take a look at his video right here where he explains it in pretty good detail. So we got our first look at the new Assassin's Creed game, and I gotta say, man, I, I'm not impressed. I'm actually just really annoyed right now. We have two main protagonists. One. So here's the two main protagonists. He's confirming it. Yasuke, who's the first black samurai. And then there's a female protagonist named Naoe. I don't really know much about her, and at this point, I'm absolutely tuned out for the game. Let's continue. Female, one male, just like Odyssey. We're gonna be using Nao. I hope I said that right. A female I hope Japanese I said it character. Right too. And for the male character, they're gonna be using Yasuke. Now, I'm annoyed because they're using Yasuke, and I'm gonna tell you why. Yasuke is what they want to say is the first black Japanese samurai, when in all actuality, he was not even a samurai. He was a retainer, so he wasn't even a full-blown samurai. And yeah, apparently he wasn't even a samurai. They're just, again, like I said, embellishing on his history to to bring him up, to, to champion the diversity, to be like, hey, guys, person of color in Japan. And, and then the funny thing is, it's an Assassin's Creed game. Isn't it about hiding in the shadows and, and being inconspicuous? If you're in ancient Japan, you're probably, Yasuke was probably the only black human being in the vicinity for thousands of miles. So how can you be an assassin, kill somebody, and not be noticed? And for all of the characters they could have used for Japan, all these kind of different people they could have picked from, they picked Yasuke. Why do they pick Yasuke? Because he's black. 
Exactly. That's the only reason. And there's no racial undertones when we're saying this, guys. This is a fact, all right? This is happening in movies, TV, video games. It's because there's just a thing about, I guess, the term blackwashing and stuff like that. I try not to really get into this when this topic comes up, but it's starting to be more and more and more shoved in our face, and it's starting to get a little annoying. Again, think about Ghost of Tsushima. They got a lot of flack because a lot of the developers on the team weren't even Japanese. I don't know why the Wokies got upset they're making a Japanese game and a lot of developers aren't even Japanese, but they're perfectly fine with Assassin's Creed Shadows having an African-American or an African, not even American because this is in ancient Japan. Staying corrected on that term. Not African-American. <laughs> this is ancient Japan, so America didn't even exist. They're perfectly fine with a black character in a Japanese game. But if it was a white development team, if it's a white character as the main protagonist, they would be shitting all over it. That's the facts. So in context, that doesn't matter to me. Because in all the Assassin's Creed games, every single character has been of some kind of different race and nationality. So that doesn't matter to me. That's fine. But you have to understand what day and age we're in. You have to understand the kind of social shit that they want to try to get across in these video games now. D-E-N-I, that's exactly what the social shit, the social, political... SJW, agendas, narratives, stuff like that. Guys, this isn't just some weird, whack, alt-right conspiracies and stuff like that. This is actual, real propaganda being flooded into the video game industry. So, instead of using a Japanese man in a game based in Japan, like they did with the other Assassin's Creed games, Altair, he was an Arab, obviously. One of my favorites, Connor, in Assassin's Creed 3, he was Native American, that was fine. And the most famous of them all, Ezio Arratore, who is Italian. So why in all those games would you have a character representative of the region they're from? But in this game, you want to demote a Japanese man and then use Yasuke. I understand why. We know why. We know why. Wokies. That's exactly why, ladies and gentlemen. That is why. But they're not going to tell you why. Because if you call it out, you're some kind of ist or phobe or whatever. And since I'm black and I'm calling it out, that means that I must hate my skin or something. You know how they do. I oh, yeah, absolutely. This guy's probably going to be trashed and attacked by all the uh, weird Wokies. I just see this, and my immediate thought is they did this for brownie points. I can't think of any other reason why you would have a Assassin's Creed game based in Japan, which we've been clamoring for since the beginning of Assassin's Creed. And then have the main protagonist that is a male be black. What a fucking fumble. The fans have been claiming for a Japanese Assassin's Creed. And then when they finally do it, they drop the ball immensely because they want to pander and cater. I think they've already missed the boat on the Japanese stuff. Especially when you get bangers like Ghost of Tsushima and you know even other games that take place in Japan. Uh, there's one that escapes my mind at the moment, but there's been some pretty good bangers. I mean, even Sifu, which wasn't even an RPG game, was really legit. I see that, and I'm like, that's that. Uh, there's no other reason than I want claps for it. There's no other reason. And I'm an Assassin's Creed fan. I've played every game. I love every game. And one of my favorite characters is actually Cassandra from Odyssey. So nobody can sit here and say, I don't like women, or I don't like diverse people, or whatever. When I played as the female protagonist in Valhalla. I thought a fucking big, strong, independent Viking chick was fucking sexy. Come on, muscle mommy. Put me between your thighs and squeeze my head. But one of my favorite characters is diverse. Hell, Connor, Kenway, and hate them. Connor Kenway. was Those good, are too. Those some of my favorite characters from Assassin's Creed. So before the idiots want to start, that's not the reason. The reason is I see straight through this bullshit. I know exactly why they picked this character. It's annoying. That's like if Ghost of Tsushima, instead of using Jin, they use a white dude. People would be like, that doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense to me. It's stupid. I know exactly why you're doing it. I see straight through it. It's annoying. It's pandering. It doesn't do anything for me but piss me off. This gentleman hit the nail on the freaking head in regards to this stuff. It's pandering. It's catering. It's, it's annoying, and we all know why they're doing it. 110%. There's no hiding it. That's exactly why they're doing it. And the rest of Twitter is uh, pretty much flaming them pretty good. Uh, Grums, who's always on it, basically called it like it is. Ubisoft tries to be woke. 
depicts Isuke, a black man who is treated like a novelty item in a racist way by Nobunaga and never did anything of note except surrender. Names the game Assassin's Creed Shadows invoking racist overtones. Who's the racist? I mean, he's kind of got a point right there, right? And he continued on a little bit <laughs> and kind of did some digging of himself. He said, so Ubisoft apparently changed Assassin's Creed Shadows, throwing away the original story and instead running with Yasuke, an obscure black retainer of Nobunaga, as front and center. An Ubisoft writer who worked on the game says the original story was completely different. This gels with what employees at Ubisoft tell me, that Ubisoft is completely locked down with DEI and is the most oppressively studio to work at as DEI is everywhere. And I could only imagine that. Um, you know, you see everything that they're doing with Star Wars Outlaws now, too, and how all these community managers that are working for companies like Ubisoft are just absolutely fucking wacko at this point. Now, Grums does continue to say Yasuke himself is a footnote in the Nobunaga story. Nobunaga was fascinated with the color of his skin, and he was kept as a retainer until Nobunaga was betrayed and slain. Yasuke fought part of that battle, but surrendered and was imprisoned. Not much is known about him, but Ubisoft decided to run with it anyways. And yeah, he again, they don't really talk about him in, in regards to Western uh, coverage of Japanese history, but you can see... Here's some more stuff about it. Assassin's Creed Shadow key art leaked. Yep, it's confirmed all right. Yasuke, the Black Samurai, is one of the main characters. The other is a shinobi woman named Naoi. Trailer comes tomorrow, but it's confirmed now for sure. The first AAA AC game set in Japan walked right past every Japanese man and went for the Black MC. It's a bold move. I guess we'll see what happens. People aren't too happy about this at all. And uh, this is the stuff leaked from the former worker so this person is claiming they worked on some narrative elements for the Sengoku era of Japan for Assassin's Creed back in 2013-2014 and uh, they tossed all that out for Black Samurai and some cannon destroying Kunochi boss I, I my Japanese is bad but you can see they're basically saying they're so glad they don't work for the industry anymore that everything they work on gets shut down and it's, it's just a, a matter of catering again it's it's catering to a small percentage of people that want this diversity stuff being put into everything that we want just because because you can't be historically accurate right you can't you can't have anything that is historically accurate in regards to any of this but here's the other thing in regards to this assassin's creed game and uh, the mistake that they made, it makes for some fire memes, which, God. <laughs> oh, the inspiration is the office <laughs> for this samurai, the first black samurai. So from the office, ladies and gentlemen, you, you got to love fire memes, at least. If anything that D, E, and I contributes to society, it's that we get some fire memes out of everything. Now, typically... With a lot of these games nowadays, with modern gaming, with Ubisoft games, uh, you get issues like, hey, this game apparently requires online play. Same thing that Star Wars Outlaws was getting flack for. According to PSN, Assassin's Creed Shadow is online play required. And a lot of people are saying thanks for the warning. See, this is where the backlash should be. Always online for a single-player game. God, no, I'm not playing anything where I have to pay for online. Oof. L. That's an L, bro. A single-player game needing online-only access. It's just Ubisoft wanting to turn the game off from access in 10 years. Definitely not a buy for me. So the same mistake that they made with Star Wars Outlaws apparently needing online play being required for a single-player game, ladies and gentlemen. Why do they keep doing this shit? Why? Why are, why are companies doing this? And it's not just Ubisoft that's guilty about it. Uh, it's it's everything. But the other thing that tops it off is, again, just like other modern games, including Sega, that developed Sonic Origins, not too bad, they always going to have these weird pricing structures. They're trying to get away with this bullshit by having these weird 
fucking pricing structures where there's base games, pre-order bonuses, season passes, three days early, ultimate packs. But it almost seems like they're putting prices of like seventy bucks, one hundred nine ninety nine, one hundred twenty nine ninety nine, and then a seventeen ninety nine a month that includes Ubisoft Plus access. Why? A, a, a subscription service that Ubisoft barely even knows exists themselves. Seventeen ninety nine, and I know there's some people. Well, if you can't afford that, you maybe you shouldn't be playing gaming. That's that's not the principle of the matter. They want to go back to that thing where the one, I guess, executive officer said, "Gamers need to be comfortable not owning their games." If I wanted to not own a game, I would just pirate it. And I know that's what a lot of other people are saying at this point. Um, it's it's fucking just garbage and you can see even on their original tweet announcing it's coming out in november you can see that they are getting totally trashed right here i guess culture appropriation is only acceptable when it comes to black people and no yasuke was a retainer not to a samurai not a samurai himself ubisoft simps and cultural appropriators can buzz off so <laughs> they're getting uh Pretty flamed here. I regret to inform everyone that I will not be buying the Japanese Assassin's Creed game on account that the Japanese Assassin's Creed game's main characters is not Japanese. This ain't it. Sorry, but I'll be skipping this game if it's based in Japan. Keep it in Japan culture. So, ugh. The outlook is not looking good, man. And this is already with a lot of the heat that Ubisoft has been getting because of statements like gamers should be comfortable not owning their games. Also, because all the stuff in regards to Star Wars Outlaws, uh, Ubisoft's kind of been under the hot seat as of late. And you can only imagine how a lot of the employees that work there that don't want this DE&I being shoved in feel about <laughs> their job security at this point. So... Assassin's Creed Shadows, ah oh man, uh, honestly, it's it's so sad to see something that could have been so cool focus more on pandering than actually being something great. And yeah, the gameplay might be good, it actually might be a game of the year contender, but does it have a hell of a hole to climb out of right now? So let me know your thoughts, guys. Subscribe if you're brand new. I appreciate if you watch like, comment, and share this videos. Help get them out there to the algorithm. I'll see you on the next one.